I'm gonna put your stuff on this chair. It's, it's hard to watch your dreams die, you know? I train so hard. But you know, better better to uh, end on a, a win than a loss, so. Mm -hmm. Everybody talked about how tough this weight class was this year. How tough was it? Everyone's within a point, you know, but uh, yeah, you gotta believe you're the best man out there. And you know, I believe that, but not this weekend, you know, I wasn't. When you look at, uh, you know, coming back and be able to, to pin Evans, who beat you in Carver Hawkeye in overtime, is that is that something that's a feather? I came back off of a hand injury with almost no conditioning. I, uh, he's, he's a great opponent, don't get me wrong. Great opponent, he's tough. He's injured too, you know what I mean? Uh, that was obvious, but you know, uh, it, it, it's fun. You know, it's fun, a little revenge is fun. <clears throat> when you, uh, you know, coming back, you're losing the Storley, coming back, how, what's it like, you know, and how do you get up for a match like that after a tough loss? You know, you beat Storley for fifth and sixth last year, you come back and take fifth again, fifth twice, I know that's not what you wanted, but, you know, how hard is it to come and get up for a match like that? Um, it's not necessarily, it's, it's just hard to watch your dreams die. It's hard, you know. Now I only have one chance to do what I want, so, uh, you, you know, you gotta put in the past, you can't dwell on it. You gotta move on, you know. Like I said, fifth's better than six. Weight, the weight's been an issue for you, I know. We've talked, talked earlier and you're in Buffalo. You're cutting a lot of weight. Are you gonna be moving up? Yeah, I'm going 97. That's... Not 84, 97. 97. I'm, I'm done with 74. I'm not going 84, I'm not cutting anymore. I'm getting big, I'm gonna be mean, so. Talk about, the season was kind of, you know, you had high, definite highs and lows in this season. How you, and you came through NCAAs, not where you wanted, but you finished with the bang. And, Talk about this, keeping your head ready. And, uh, you, you got to, like, like I said, man, you know, uh, you lost, so what? You know, there's other people going through a lot harder stuff in this world. You know, put it behind you, wrestle hard, and keep going. You know? What do you take away from this tournament moving forward? <sighs> you know, uh, some huge I'm struggling with is offense, you know. I'm, I'm a defensive counter wrestler, you know, and it's, it's hard for, uh, it's hard when something brings you to this level for you to uh, forsake it and uh, rely on something else, if that makes sense. And you know, I, I, I probably know, every every practice I came in extra with Lou and Thatcher, I know Joe was hitting 100, 200 shots, man. They, they wouldn't let me leave, you know? I, I'm trying as hard as I can. It's, it's just a mental thing. It's something that is huge that I'm taking away. Will the weight jump help with that, do you think, having go juice? Yeah, that's gonna help a lot, believe it or not, because, you know, what, what I'm eating before these matches, I'm, I'm eating liquid carbs, you know, I'm, I'm stuff that doesn't sit in my stomach, so I'm, I'm ready to go. You know, I, it's just, this way was really hard. But, um, you know, I, I sucked it up and I tried to finish best I could. Perry Panthers, you guys have had an All-American. Last 10 years, you guys have been on the map in the college wrestling scene. What do you think it says about Dave Riggs and the, and the high school program he runs? What he's running, Believe me, there, there will be a, a lot more to come. That guy, he, he knows how to make you successful, you know. Great, great program, great guy. Right. Oh, last thing I wanna say, you know, is uh, I just wanna thank God for this opportunity, you know, win or lose. You know, I'm thankful for the opportunity. All right, Nick, congratulations.